everyone, Amy Love here, and I am coming on today to share with you this adorable little project. And now the sun is all of a sudden blaring through the window, so I <laughs> feel like you're not getting a good view. Um, I moved my desk in front of the window, and it has its good and bad qualities. But I was so inspired by Doreen's uh, Bunnies and Fabergé kits. So there are two different kits. There's a Bunnies kit, and then there's the Fabergé kit, and I will put a link to Doreen's Etsy below. And I was first inspired by the kits and I didn't have time to play with them because, you know, work. And then I saw all the other designers diving in and doing such beautiful things with both kits. And I was like, oh my goodness. So um, this is the project that I had stuck in my mind. And when I get a project stuck in, stuck in my mind, I tend to not even be able to sleep until I can work on it. And I didn't have the right size egg in my stash. So I called up a friend and I went to Hobby Lobby on uh, Saturday and I found uh, the exact size I needed. So it all worked out and now I can sleep again because she's finally finished. <laughs> so I used a paper mache egg uh, from Hobby Lobby that I just cu I cut in half, not exactly in half. Um, I left more of the egg and just cut off a little bit of the front. But I do have a tutorial that I can tack on, um, you know, on this video if you want to see how I created it. It's going to be a speed through because I can only put up a 15 minute video. Uh, but I do kind of show you walk through how to how to do it. So I printed um, after I cut it in half, I painted it white on the inside and the outside. And then this beautiful, <laughs> this beautifulness is from the Fabergé egg kit, the Fabergé kit. So isn't it gorgeous? I printed it out on fabric and then I just covered the outside of the egg with it. And then I put um, pearls and rhinestones and then I put rhinestones all the way around it. Isn't it just, it's just a beautiful. I was so super inspired. Now on the inside, um, I lined the inside with satin and then I just used this really pretty um, braid trim that I had in my stash that's kind of like an antique gold. So I put that around the edge. And then um, this little e uh, bunny is from the uh, Vintage Bunnies in the Bunnies kit. Isn't she so precious? And I uh, printed her out on cardstock. Um, and then I glued her down to some chipboard so she's nice and sturdy. And then I stickled up her uh, little dress and hat, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, she just sparkles. So super cute. And then I had these like wooden um, little pedestals in my stash. So I painted it in an antique gold and then I put rhinestones around. And then uh, while I was at Hobby, Hobby Lobby, they had in the clearance section, which I never leave Hobby Lobby without hitting the clearance section. They had this tool with these uh, gold polka dots. So then I just uh, used it to kind of make um, a nest for the egg to sit on on top of the little wooden base and it worked out really great. And then I just added this beautiful pearled beaded flower here and then this gorgeous pearl and rhinestone bow. So I just absolutely love it. I think it's so precious. <laughs> I'd love to know what you think. Please leave me a comment below. And let me know, give me a thumbs up. And if you're interested in how I create it, uh, created it, stay tuned for the tutorial. Thanks everybody. So I'm using this paper mache egg that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm using a rubber band to kind of help me decide where I want to uh, cut the egg. I want one side to be bigger. So I just uh, use a pencil and trace where I had the, uh, where I've settled the rubber band. <laughs> And then I am gonna cut it um, with my razor knife. But I will say it's not um, easy to do, so I didn't do it on camera. So in case I hurt myself, you wouldn't see that part. Um, but it, it's got a plastic layer underneath the paper mache. And there you can see it. And it's really thin along the sides, but at either end, the plastic is thicker, and I'm not sure if you really can see it on the camera, but it is thicker, so it's a little more difficult. So just be careful. Now, it's not completely straight, and it's not completely smooth, but it's going to be fine. So now I'm just going to paint 
it white and I do paint the inside too but I would say that if you're gonna use a material to line the inside of your egg that you wouldn't be able to see through I wouldn't paint the inside because what I found is as I was gluing the lining into my egg um, it would peel off with some of the paint so if I didn't have the paint on there I wouldn't have had that issue so now here is this beautiful digital from Doreen. It's just gorgeous. And I printed it on fabric. I get my fabric sheets uh, from Amazon and I do have a link to my Amazon shop below in the description box if you wanna check it out. And so I am going to wrap it around the outside of the egg and I'm gonna overlap it to the inside so that the edges of my egg are also covered in fabric. And I like to go ahead and round the edges so I, I have less bulk to deal with. Uh, just makes it easier for sure. And so I'm just going to use hot glue uh, to put this down. And what I like to do is I like to start with the top and then the bottom, then the sides, then I kind of wrap everything else in there. But I do run into it peeling off on the inside because of the paint. So I, I would skip painting the inside because I don't think it was necessary with the satin lining I put in. I don't think you would have been able to see that it was black on the inside at all. But it still works. Everything stays, you know, in place. It all glues down and it's fine. <laughs> but now that I've got the four sides. Now I'm just going to go through and um, tuck the rest of it in and glue it down as I go. And that's, look, it's so pretty. It turned out so nice. And then I just, I lined the inside the same way. I just didn't bring it up and around. And then I just added this a finishing touch of that um, braid trim. But now I am going to add rhinestones around the edge. And I'm using um, a larger rhinestone because it's just so pretty. And I mean, it is a Fabergé egg, so it should be sparkly and gorgeous. So I'm just going to use hot glue to uh, glue this trim around. Now I'm going to add some pearls and rhinestones and I'm kind of following a line that is on the digital already. And I am just gonna add these uh, special touches one by one.
now I'm going to create a little nest for my egg to sit on and I am using my mini Bodabra. I love this thing. I bought it, um, I think, at Walmart, I don't know, 10 years ago on clearance for $5 and it's like one of my favorite purchases, especially when I am making little tool, puffs of tool. <laughs> it's just perfect for that. <laughs> and so uh, I got this beautiful little uh, gold dotted tool from Hobby Lobby on clearance and I love it and it makes the perfect little nest for my egg so that is basically how I put my egg together I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial please leave me a comment and let me know what you think or if you have any questions and I will see you all in the next one bye everybody